Mary Dosia's home in Mallakam was not always as peaceful as this. When intense fighting broke out in Jaffna in 1995, she and her family fled to the relatively safe Avani area, leaving all their worldly belongings behind. Mary and her husband attempted to return some weeks later to retrieve their things. It was a journey that changed their lives forever. After an initial period of despair, Mary slowly learned to cope with the loss of her limb. The family's financial problems had also increased. With the help of an organization which provides assistance to landmine survivors, Mary started a small-scale venture to bring in some money to the household. The kind of support which Mary received is the strongest form of psychosocial assistance for those who survive in the Jaffna district, where there has been the most number of landmine accidents. Although small and available to just a few, it is still an improvement on the situation in the neighboring Vanni region, where many landmine survivors also live. The affected people, mine victims, we have uh, certain uh, rehabilitation programs. One is freshwater fishing, uh, bicycle repair shop, small scale enterprises, and some other income generation scheme. So we are giving money in advance and monitoring the activities. And we are helping more according to their improvement. Whilst more and more assistance is being provided to landmine survivors, the psychological and social support services available are still minimal. Many find it extremely hard to cope without the help they desperately need. Thabanidhi, for instance, was blinded in a landmine explosion some years ago. Subsequently abandoned by her husband, and with no means of earning a living, she is totally dependent on her family for her survival. <laughs> Thank you. 